Hi everybody, thanks for watching in replay. Um, I am Cindy with Runs With Scissors and Chalk and if you see the little light at the top, you're watching live. Uh, we've been working this week with um, the bee's knees and I've done, this was last night, we made the board and pillar um, with the Honeybee Farms, which came out super cute. And we also did a couple of little blocks uh, with the buzzing bee on it, which I used a little technique uh, to, I chalked in black and then I went back and filled in the little body in yellow. Uh, when you pop in, go ahead and give us a shout out, say hey, and I'll, I'll give you a shout out. Hi, Carol Linden. I'll give you a shout out. So we're continuing with the bee theme this week. Um, tonight I'm very excited because we're actually going to uh, chalk the big hive and it is big it is a large transfer and actually we're going to ink it on a pillow and I've been waiting to do this um, I pulled the same bee and the, the zigzags that I was using yesterday hello that I was using yesterday and I'm going to put those off to the side because We'll do those at secondary to the main, um, the main item, which is the pillowcase. So it is a chalk couture um, pillowcase. I'm gonna go ahead and flip you down. I think tonight will be a quick night. So don't expect to be too long, too long with you. All right, I'm gonna flip you down. And let's see. Right is left, left is right. It's always backwards. Anyway, so this is a Chalk Couture um, 17 inch pillow that I've, um, I the dye actually just came in today and I quickly dyed it late this afternoon. See the Chalk Couture tag at the top. Um, I use the tie dye, I use my tie dye methods. So it's a little bit darker in places. But I like that, and I think it adds some character to it. Put this back on, and we're going to chalk. I like this side better. I don't think it matters what side the tag's on, whether it's on the right or the left. Um, but I like this side of the material better, so we're going to use this side. And um, as with some of the other um, transfers in the last couple of days, I've cut uh, the sides off. There's really this this extra is really unnecessary and um, although I'm gonna wait until after I do the fabric because I wanted to stick uh, pretty pretty well to the fabric hi Paula hi Mary Kay all right so um, when we're working with and also it'll help me line it up because it is exactly 18 inches which is what the pillowcase is um, when we're working with the inks and especially when I'm uh, inking on textile um, I don't I don't um, want to fuzz my transfer every other thing that I do I want to fuzz and some things I tell you I tell you to make sure to super fuzz it but this one I'm gonna tell you we're not fuzzing so with these big transfers I actually discovered this this was not my invention but it does work very well because you end up wrestling these and sometimes they win all right now this transfer is because i cut the top off it so it's not all the way up to the top of the it, it does not go all the way up to the top of the pillow and i lost that where'd it go where's that edge all right i'm gonna make sure it's straight on here and i think um I'm off a wee bit so let me try to round this out and then I'm gonna move it over see what I mean you rustle and sometimes it wins <laughs> I mean I moved it up a smidge because when I put the pillow in when you put the pillow pillow in the case it's gonna round your design so what I did is I attached it at the top pretty evenly and then I'm gonna pull the transfer from the bottom and what should happen is it's going to 
leave it on my surface pretty easily. So that is the smoothest way I see. If you take them off, they, they just get all flimsy and sometimes they double back on you. And if the kiss of death is when it sticks, the sticky sides touches itself and gets stuck together. So I think, I think that it is pretty darn straight on there. And I am centered for you. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna ink in black on this. Now, um, this is an inking tool. This is a, a very large squeegee. It is chalk couture, but I'm using it to make sure that I get any of the any air bubbles in the transfer are removed. Let me check my. I'm just kind of checking my distances, and they do seem to be about the same. So, I think we are centered. And we're going to be stick with the B theme and B colors. Hi, Tim. Hi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I don't know that I've opened this. Look at that. It's a brand new uh, chalk um, velvet black uh, ink. I'm going to hold it off of my fabric to open it, which is always a good idea because you will get it everywhere. Even when I stir, you shouldn't stir over your projects. Um, I moved my little trash bag a little bit further out and I got it on my fingers, so I need to take a second here and grab a wet wipe. And this is just a a Clorox wet wipe. This this could be a baby wipe. It doesn't matter. I just need to get it off my finger so I don't touch the pillow and transfer it. You have to do a hand check a couple of different times. Okay, so I'm not going to ink with this large squeegee. I'm going to use, actually I have this too. I might ink with this. We'll see. And my stir stick. So on fabric, if the um, ink is too wet, um, it will tend to bleed. It will tend to bleed um, into the fabric. And um, definitely don't want that to happen. So look how nice and smooth that is. So again, on fabric, I'm gonna place it into the outside portion and then I'm gonna pull it across the surface. Make sure I don't have any. And the ink, or the fabric tends to take a lot of ink. It takes more ink than the surfaces do chalk. And I'll pull up anything extra. I'm gonna turn this, you know how I like to work sideways. Let's see, look, somehow I've gotten little drops on that. So this is a squeegee. You always want the beveled edge towards you or whichever way you're pulling. And I'm going to pull it across. There we go. Perfecto. I like to hear that sound, the squishing under the... All right, so I have a little bit of excess on here. I'm gonna try to put that back in my container and I'm gonna pick up what's at the bottom here, put that back in my container because it's good pay or good ink. I can use it on another project. Okay, um, let's see, I wanna pull any, any pieces that have a lot left over. All right, I don't think I missed any spots. It actually looks pretty smooth to me. And that was it. I'm gonna not dump this in the, my water bath yet, just in case I need it. So let's peel. Now with ink, um, I would normally have run off to the sink, but I'm gonna put this in my uh, water bath, which is right below me. Are we oohing and on? Does it look all right? Yeah, I think it does. 
All right, let's see. I, I checked the, the design. Okay, it's winning. These big designs. <laughs> These big designs. All right, and I dumped those in too, and I didn't mean to. Let's get it in the water bath completely submerged and I'll take it up and clean it better in a big tub. But for right now, so I can reuse that transfer. All right, I'm gonna turn this. All right, looks like I had a little glop there, but that's okay, I'm gonna use that in my design. Thanks, Carol. Um, also, I didn't say, I do have the couture, uh, chalk couture mat in here, and it keeps the ink from going through to the back side of the pillow. So it keeps the design on the front, the front side. All right, I am going to ditch this big tool. I don't need that anymore. All right, and I want a smaller squeegee. So I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to use some of these. Actually, maybe we can work that into the design. And I'm sticking with the black. I'm not doing any fancy colors. I'm just using the black one here. So I'm going to do a long one and a short and a short one. Now these are not new, so I need to be careful. I don't. I I don't. Um, they're not as sticky as something that's brand new. So I have to be careful that I'm not um, pulling it. What do you think, up here? Yeah, let's do that. All right. So I'm gonna put my lines, my squiggle lines. And this one. The ink does not dry as fast as chalk, so there's no rush. Not rushing like I would be hurrying if I'm using paste. Okay. All right. Looking good. All right, let's do this one. All right, I think it's down. All right, I'm pick my excess up. Put it back in my container. All right, let's pull. Well, I keep, it keeps getting on this side. I don't know what I'm doing different on that side. I may be redoing this pillow, but let's keep going. I'm gonna keep going. All right, so the B. Now the B I use quite a bit. So I need to be careful he doesn't move and I'm gonna use him twice. All right, let's see, I'm just dipping in the ink. All right, it's going through, this, through the silk screen. I'm doing a hand check. It's going through the silk screen nicely. There you go. Just pushing it down and now I'm wiping my finger off. All right, a little bit of ink and I am holding it. I'm giving it an extra support. All right. All right into the bath. Hand check. 
Oh, got a little bit on the back of my hand. It's like glitter. It's everywhere. Beautiful. It's kind of funny. The bees, which were, uh, which I used yesterday and weren't as sticky, came out perfect. So, all right. I, um, I'm going to let it dry. I will pull it off the, um, off my sticky mat. I'll let it dry a little bit first. Um, and then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll heat, use the heat press, set the ink and voila, it makes it permanent. So that was my big, big surprise. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm gonna pull you guys up so I can see you. Hi everybody. I know, it cuts in and out. In and out. Anyway, it came out darn cute. I think I like it. And like I said, I'll let it dry, I'll heat press it, and tomorrow I'll, um, run the heat press on it and I'll pop a pillow in it and voila, I have uh, a collection to my bee, my bee collection. So thank you. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget if you watch a replay, put hashtag replay. And if you haven't done so, uh, jump into my free community group. I have things posted in there that I can't put on the regular Facebook page. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a great evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, 9.30. Bye, Mary Kay. Bye, Paula. Bye, bye Mom. Bye, Carol. Ooh, ah, thank you. Thank you. Bye.